Hello friends, welcome to Text Edition. In this video, we will make a very simple automatic water pump controller circuit using the 555 timer IC. You can easily connect this circuit with your existing pump starter and control the pump both in auto and manual mode. I have made the complete circuit on the Zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout and during the video I have shared the complete circuit connection diagram so after watching this video anyone can make this project but before going to the details let me give you a quick demo here you can see this is our circuit and this is the overhead tank and this is underground tank for demonstration I have used a small aquarium pump but as I have used 30 ampere relay so you can control most of the pump currently the circuit is in manual mode so if I turn this switch on the pump will start now if I turn it off the pump will stop now to go to auto mode I have to turn on the switch now it is in auto mode and as the water level is below this red wire so the pump started now during this time when the pump is running if there is no water in the underground tank let me pull this green wire from the underground tank you can see the pump turned off so it will always check the water level in the underground tank now let me place this wire inside the underground tank pump started automatically now for any reason if you want to turn off this pump you can always use this switch as an emergency stop you can see the pump turn off if i turn it on the pump started again so it has also an emergency stop now the pump will stop whenever the water level touch the red wire so let me fast forward this video You can see the pump automatically turns off as the water level touches this red wire. Now let me reduce the water level from the overhead tank and the pump will automatically start when the water level drop down below this green wire. You can see whenever the water level drop down below this green wire the pump started automatically. So this is a very useful project now without any further delay let's get started for this project i have used the altium pcb designer software to draw the circuit then design the pcb now altium came up with an amazing product called altium 365 altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites pcb design mcat data management and teamwork so with LTM 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. The mechanical team can also access the PCB files so they can parallelly work on the mechanical product package based on your PCB design. And there is no chance of losing design data with the automatic backup and centralized cloud storage. It also helps you to manage your components and get real-time supply chain data for all the components. It also allows multiple people to work on a single project and finally you can send your product to manufacturing with a single click. LTM 365 automates all of these tasks for you so that you can focus on making something creative and useful. And now you can download the free trial version of the LTM PCB designer software from the video description. This is the PCB for this project. You can also download the Gava file from the video description. But in this video, we will make the complete circuit on the Zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. On the layout, you can see I have mentioned a grid which will help us to make the circuit on the Zero PCB. You can also download the layout from the video description. Now I will place the layout on the Zero PCB and try to match the grid with the hole in this manner. Now our PCB is ready and these are the required components for this project. We have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit here you can see I have just used a 555 timer and here I have used 30 ampere relay so you can control most of the pump. The common and NO terminal of the relay is connected across the existing manual switch of the pump circuit. So if you want, you can also control this pump manually with this existing MCB switch. Now to go to auto mode, you have to turn off this switch, then turn on this auto switch. Then triple pipe timer will control this relay as per the water level in the overhead and underground tank. This switch can also act as an emergency stop. For any reason, if you want to turn off the pump, 
you can just turn off the switch it will cut the power supply of the relay coil so the pump will turn off and if you don't have any underground tank then please refer to this circuit you just have to short this to terminal then triple five timer will just check the water level in the overhead tank and accordingly control the relay so the circuit is very simple now we will quickly place all the component one by one on the pcb as mentioned on the layout after that i have to solder the components and here you can see with the help of this bottom pcb layout i can easily connect the components as per the circuit now after soldering all the components, let me connect that triple five timer on the PCB. Now our PCB is ready. Now please refer to this connection diagram to connect the AC supply and pump with the PCB. So you have to connect all the water level sensing wire according to this connection diagram. And here you can see I have connected the relay across the existing manual switch of the starter. So if you want to control the pump manually, you can use this MCB for that. To go to auto mode, you have to turn off this MCB, then turn on this auto switch, then triple five timer will control the relay as per the water level. And please take proper safety precaution while working with the high voltage. Here you can see I have connected the PCB with the level sensor wire and pump as per the connection diagram. Currently the circuit is in manual mode so I can control the pump manually with this switch. You can see the pump turns on. Now let me turn it off. Now let me go to auto mode so I have to turn on this switch. And as the water level is below the red wire so pump started automatically. Now let me pull this wire from the underground tank. You can see the pump stop automatically. If I place this wire inside the underground tank the pump started. Now if I want to turn off this pump for emergency, I will just turn off the switch, the pump will stop and if I turn it on, the pump will start. So this is a very useful triple five timer project. If you find this video helpful, then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also join our telegram channel Tech Study Cell and follow us on Instagram. I will share the link in the description. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.